All right, thanks so much for sharing that beautiful garden with us. And we're going to be talking about another spectacular garden tour for Central Texas. Uh, this is the Garden Conservancy Tour. It's coming up on Saturday the 17th. I'm joined right now by Charlotte Boyle, who you often, I often run into at Barton Springs Nursery. Uh, it's great to see you again, Charlotte. Thank you for having me. Uh, th this is a spectacular tour this year. The Garden Conservancy always seems to bring out the creme de la creme of Austin gardening. And uh, people are going to experience a wide variety of spectacular settings, aren't they? They are indeed. Yeah. We're going to dive right in and just start showing people some of these places. Um, uh, a veteran of the tour is a dear friend of mine, Deborah Hornicle, and I've got to go on tour and see what she's done to her garden because uh, she's updated it significantly. It's a mature garden. I think it was started in 1999, but she has made some changes recently with a home remodel and moving things around, adding a pond. She now has a fire pit. Mm -hmm. An interesting use of plants. It's it's really fun. It's really a formal space. Uh, lots of clipped boxwood, which I happen to be a big fan of. Uh, it has a beautiful alley of Bradford pear. Right. Lots of entertaining spaces. Just to, to me, this just evokes a great European garden in many ways. But when I visited her last, she had sunflowers all over the front yard. Yeah, so it's it's right. a real diverse. Yeah, you know, so well, you can. That's a, that's a, one of the things that Austin has kind of become known for is great structure in the garden and that kind of play of the formal and the clipped against the free flowing and native, right? That's true. That's true. Yeah, and you people will be able to experience it in Deborah's garden, and it's a small central Austin lot, but it feels like a a, a magnificent kind it of. It opens up definitely. Yes, it feels magnificent back there. One of the things that's going to be different this year. Um, is that James David, who is a legendary gardener yes. uh, here in, in Austin, is going to be doing something called uh, Digging Deeper as a part of the tour. And tell me a little bit about this. It's a new program this year started by the Garden Conservancy where they give a more in-depth talk and walk through a particular garden. Mm -hmm. And James has offered to do this. There is one scheduled now for 10 o'clock that Saturday, October 17th. Mm -hmm. He said he may schedule another one in the afternoon if there's a demand for it. Okay. This will be by reservation only and through the Garden Conservancy website. Okay. It'll be $35 and um, hopefully we'll fill the afternoon spot also. All right. It'll be amazing, I'm well, sure. I, I, I can just testify to everybody listening right now. I plan now to attend one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, worth the entry just to see the garden, but to hear James uh, talk about it and see it at the same time. It should I've be had the remarkable. pleasure of having, doing that, so this is really special. Yeah, and he's always changing it, always making something he new. He works on it constantly. <laughs> yeah, it's great. And he is... Uh, that house is on the market. He hopes to move mm -hmm. to Santa Fe, New Mexico. So this may be the last opportunity for people to see it. So wow. I wow. encourage you to yeah, get on the website and, and make your reservation. There, there's another pair of Austin Gardens in the Enfield area that are genuinely spectacular. Um, one on Enfield itself and I just love the look of this garden. That is a very uh, interesting use of stone. Uh, it's for pathways and terracing, real xeric plantings, mm -hmm. low maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, there's a stone wall that was built on the south side of the property that mimics a, gar a wall on Enfield Road just mm -hmm. across the way. Yeah. So it's kind of an interesting look. People should notice that when they visit it. Well, I love the terracing and I love the mix of plants at that garden. And then paired with that garden, there's one that faces onto Windsor. Yes. And this to me just evokes colonial Mexico. I'm just, it's amazing. And both spaces that were designed by Scott Ogden. Scott Ogden, yes, right. I was going to say. The, the one on Windsor is a large yard. The, front is very shaded, so mm -hmm. you have a real interesting mix of plants there. Um, most unusual, he grows bromeliads in, yeah. this, in this landscape. Mm -hmm. um, the backyard is very sunny and on a steep slope, so you get all kinds of stonework and plantings there also. Amazing number of plants. Well, it's just Scott overwhelming. Ogden designed yes. it. <laughs> He's a genius of plants, I know. Yeah, and so. then uh, textures and flow, it, it all is going to be spectacular. Um, amazing experience, I'm sure. And you can just walk from one garden to the other. You can. Okay. You can. All right. Well, um, there's a 
another Central Austin garden on Bridal Path. This is uh, the Tonight Garden. Christie's, yes. And uh, I love this space. I absolutely love it. I love the majestic giant agaves and the free-flowing grasses and all the terracing. Yes, that is a total transformation. When she purchased that house, I think it was eight years ago, it had a circular drive and paved patio areas and a big lawn down to the street. She took all of that out and put in under the large oak trees that were there, perennials and understory things, plus a veggie garden. Mm -hmm. And she kind of pushes the limits because I see she has agaves in kind of pretty shady locations and they, they're looking good. Yeah. So, um, and something I've always heard you say, Tom, is if you buy a five gallon tree and a 30 gallon tree, plant them at the same time, in five years you won't know the difference. Well, this is a testament to that because she, I think it's a Texas persimmon. She bought one 30 gallon and two five gallon and we looked at them. The five gallon are thriving. The 30 gallon is still struggling. There's another garden I want to talk about because I just love the look of this one. And, it, and this is a problem solving garden. It's an old Austin home. Um, and they've redesigned everything about it, the house as well as the, the grounds, because there was all sorts of drainage, drainage issues. Drainage issues. This is on Tower Drive, is that Tower correct? Tower Drive, yes. Right. Um, just remarkable. This is Patrick Kerwin. Mm -hmm. um, he did a marvelous job. It's kind of a limited plant palette. It's not a huge garden, mm -hmm. but it's bold pieces and very striking. Mm -hmm. um, um, he did some real interesting screening also in the back and on the side where they needed some privacy, putting up some kind of trellising and growing plants on it, plus some bamboo. So, yeah. uh, no, it's a nice, nice job. Yeah, it's, I think it's remarkable. Um, another space that uh, people, I, I, I've been dying to see, I've never seen it except in videos that we've done here on Central Texas Gardeners, Jeff Pavlot's garden. You need to see his garden, <laughs> yes. it is amazing. Um, I requested that he, he put his garden on this tour yes. just because it's a perfect example of deer resistant and xeric. Yeah. He tells me he never waters. Mm -hmm. um, he has an interesting mix of mature cacti and succulents and some cycads also. Yeah. He's a very active member of the Austin Cactus and Succulent Society. Oh, yeah. And he's very knowledgeable. It's, it's just a pleasure to have him talk about his plants. So it's, it's not to be missed. No, it really is. Unbelievable, spectacular. I'll give you a ticket, Tom. I think you should see <laughs> Jeff's garden. Please. I'll warn you, I'm going to bring my camera, and I understand the photography is going to be uh, not fun. Talk to Jeff about that. Okay. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see. And on one other spot that's going to be on tour, and this is going to have a special guest set, is the Rolling Wood City Hall, which has been completely redone on all the grounds. That's a public garden, so there'll be no charge for this. Mm -hmm. The Garden Conservancy likes to include public gardens that are near other gardens on this tour. Right. So uh, this is designed by Scott Ogden and his wife, Lauren Springer Ogden. Mm -hmm. Lauren will be on site to talk with visitors to that garden. Some of the folks in that neighborhood were, who were instrumental in getting it developed will also be there, I understand. So that'll be a real treat to talk with the, uh, the, right. uh, the designers. Well, and, and that's probably going to be a, a, a possible at a couple of the gardens, I would think. That often the, Most the, of them will be there, I Yeah, think. which is yes. always a great pleasure. Cause, and there's some extremely high-level design talent. Lauren alone would be worth going out to hear. Yes. But uh, you yes. have a remarkable cast of, uh, of designers and gardeners here. We're very fortunate to here. have these on the tour this time. Yes, yes, and yes, indeed. So, uh, Lauren, uh, uh, is Scott going to be uh, around, do you know? He will be at the Windsor and Infield. I think he'll go back and forth okay. because they're pretty very close together. And okay. so as visitors can go back and forth, so will he. Well, for our, our fans out there, these are a lot of our best old friends on Central Texas Gardeners. So it'll be a chance for you to meet them in person. And uh, this, again, is the Garden Conservancy Tour. And let's just run through the details. I understand that uh, tickets will be available at some local nurseries, correct? Yes, there will be three nurseries selling tickets. Mm -hmm. It's the uh, Barton Springs Nursery, the Natural Gardener, and the Great Outdoors. Okay. We'll have tickets there. And you also online, and I'm sure. And that online, GardenConservancy.org. Mm -hmm. What I've been doing uh, just to check up on things is just Googling Garden Conservancy Austin, Texas Open Days. Okay. And it kind of gets you right there. Okay. So you don't have to tab through everything. Okay, well, uh, that's easy enough to remember. And again, uh, digging deeper with uh, James David at that spectacular garden, 
folks, this is a rare opportunity for you to get out there and have an extraordinary day in the garden. Well, it's been a real pleasure catching Thank up you. with you. Thank you so Thank much you, for Tom. being with us, Charlotte. Thank you for having me. You know, you, you've done a great job. Thank you so much for being here. And coming up next is our friend Daphne. Mm -hmm.